Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today I want to speak about uh, regarding best uh, fighting hero which we have, which is Waldir. And I will try to explain with my own experience why I think Waldir is the best fighting epic hero, how you can use him and what are the advantages and disadvantages by using Waldir. First of all, we need to understand why Waldir is so good. Uh, well, it's pretty easy and pretty simple. Every skills which Waldir have is a fighting spells and every spell is usable. Uh, Waldir is a magic hero with PvP and skills. This is like a best combination which you want to have in, on a fighting hero. Some people say uh, Walder is even better than some legendary heroes. I don't agree, but it's not far. It's like closest epic hero to a legendary one. Regarding skills, I won't be reading skills to you because everybody can read the skills. Like as every every hero, first skill is a uh, damage factor skill. Second is a magic attack bonus. It's bonuses. It's passive. Third is a again bonus uh, shield for fighting and what's really really important and why you should awaken Walder is whenever Walder is awakened every skill he uses is hit by two legions for example if there is like a couple of legions and if there is a war a mass fight Waldil can be useful in every single type of battle which is in the world map. That's why I think Walder is the best epic hero which we have currently. Like any other uh, heroes which are epic, like for example, Gwenwin has a peacekeeping which is not good for a fighting. Eliana has a peacekeeping. Pen is just gatherer. Uh, Alistar has a tank in it which is not that good. Bahar has a garrison and so on. And Walder has everything. It's a magic hero, it's PvP and it's skills. Regarding talents, well, that's my preferable choice to go in a magic tree. And some of the points go to the skill tree. Some people go for a full skill tree and the half of the magic. But with my own experience, I'm just going with the magic because I, I like what I, I have on a magic tree. And if I have points left, I will just go to the skill tree, just like to add some more uh, talents to the hero. Uh, how you can get uh, Waldir? It's pretty simple. Uh, if you chose to play with League of Orders, you will be getting quests with the Waldir sculptures uh, tokens. If not, like just any other epic hero, it's really really easy to awaken them just playing the game as you can see my Walder and my Gwenwin is awakened and Eliana too and I'm a free to play player I don't spend even a single dollar to the game and I managed to awaken already three epic heroes so trust me you don't need to pay too much attention to epic heroes they will be awakened by awakened by themselves and that's why uh, if you want to have a priority, even if you are a mage player, you are 100% going for a Walder. Even if you are not a mage player, even you are a marksman player or a tank player, you will have a lot of benefits having a Walder in your lineup. Uh, regarding pairs, uh, personally, I prefer Walder with Welim. Like it's really easy to pair them because both of them are like ice uh, style mages, but. Uh, I choose Walder as a primary hero and uh, Velin as a deputy. Uh, in terms of other uh, pairs with Velin, with uh, Walder, well, I think uh, Alwyn can be good, but not the best. Uh, Aetheus can be good, but not the best. Uh, that's like the choices you can make regarding Walder, like Alwyn, Aetheus. Uh, if you are paying in the game, then of course you have Lilia and uh, Walder and Lilia or Lilia or Walder is a good pair too. But if you are just like me, a free-to-play player, then I would suggest you to play with Walder as a primary hero and Welling as a secondary. 
how you can make this pairing better is just try to awaken Waldir as fast as possible and through the daily uh, VIP stores you can just choose uh, from here Welling and every day you will be able to get additional Welling tokens also you can get Welling from the gold chest so if you will commit to mages then I think it will be much easier for you to have a good mage legion just because we have such a powerful powerful hero in the game like Waldir. Uh, that's the main reason I wanted to share my ideas regarding this hero because I just I never take a video just because to take a video as you can see sometimes I'm posting videos like once a week uh, because I want to try my best to understand the content and then to speak about it. Uh, regarding pets for Waldir, well, it's like same pet for mages like Sapphire Frederick because that's the only uh, mage-oriented pet we have right now, but I think there will be more. Uh, regarding the Sapphire Frederick, it will be amazing if you will have a good intelligence and spirit and the Pain Bloom is like the main skill which will grant your Legion additional damage. Also, there is like the Legion Magic Attack bonus which is quite good. So, the pets are new addition to the game. I, I don't pay too much attention to the pets because there will be a lot more updates regarding pets and they will change a lot. Uh, regarding artifacts for Waldir, uh, it's pretty simple. Every single mage artifacts are good in this game for mages. Let's start with uh, epic ones and always the good mage uh, artifact is magic bomb, which like gives magic unit attack, legion attack and also the skill which has a 1500 uh, mage damage factor can be dealt to the three nearby enemy legions. Uh, if we can, if we if we want to have a legendary uh, artifact, there is a couple of choices. First, uh, which I have currently is Phoenix Eye. Mm, like this is one of the best magic legendary artifacts. There are more, but I won't be talking about all of them because currently, for free-to-play players, I, I I chose to speak the artifacts which we can get without paying money and from what you can see here only phoenix eye is for mages uh, from legendary ones and the magic bomb is the best epic uh, artifact currently in the game for mages uh, regarding other stuff uh, well if there will be a chance for a free to play players to get more artifacts from here how I would speak about it, but well, we don't. So, Phoenix Eye, my choice. And if you will get Phoenix Eye from the uh, like Universal artif artif Artifact Compendium, congratulations because you will have a lot of fun playing with Waldir and having Phoenix Eye because Waldir is dealing a lot of damage, Phoenix Eye is dealing a lot of damage too. So, if you are mage player, Waldir Relin with Phoenix Eye, Awakened Waldir will be great, great addition to the battlefield or for Alliance. Mm, uh, that's what I wanted to speak about in this video. If you liked my video, please comment or like it because it will give me a lot of encouragement to continue doing what I do. Uh, thanks for watching, and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.